What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining me today. I got to tell you, I'm really excited about today's video. The fine folks over at Omaha Steaks reach out to me and asked if I'd be interested in trying their new steak. It's the uh, Omaha Cut Ribeye. Now they're the only people who uh, you could get this steak from. It's a, a proprietary steak that they make, they own the rights to, and you can't get it anywhere else except from Omaha Steaks. You guys, I'm telling you, these steaks are beautiful. I'm gonna show you what, I'm gonna show you what they look like in just a second. I've got four of them, two of them, I'm going to do out on the Weber kettle. I'm gonna use my grill grates, get those nice, beautiful sear marks on them. And the other two, I'm going to do on a cast iron skillet. It's gonna be some good eating tonight, you guys. I'm really, really excited about this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. So this is the box that they come in. They ship this box in a larger styrofoam container with uh, dry ice to make sure that they stay fresh. So when you open up the box here, they've got their uh, unconditional guarantee, 100% guarantee. And they say, if you're not absolutely thrilled with your purchase from Omaha Steaks for any reason at all, we'll cheerfully replace it or refund your money. So these steaks have been inspected, they've been stamped, given a number. I like that. So these are the steaks, you guys, look at that. These things are beautiful. See that marbling in there? You'll get a better look at that marbling once we get them out of the package, but these things are beautiful. These are four five ounce uh, steaks. So we're gonna get these out of the package and um, you know we're gonna get them seasoned up. We'll get that grill fired up and get this cook underway. I'm excited, these look absolutely beautiful. All right, you guys, so these are what the steaks look like out of the package. See that nice marbling on these? These are uh, inch thick, each one of them. So they're, they're pretty, pretty thick. But that marbling is just absolutely beautiful. No trimming required, it's already done. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to season two of them with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And I'm going to season two of them, the other two with It's Incredible. The It's Incredible is my absolute favorite seasoning on steaks. And for a piece of meat like this, a great piece of meat like this, I'm gonna use my favorite seasoning, the best seasoning I know that there is on these two. So I'm gonna get these seasoned up. I have my Weber kettle getting fired up now. And we're going, we're going to, uh, you know, throw a couple of these on there. Now, I'm not sure. I'm thinking of putting one of the steaks with the salt and pepper and one of the It's Incredible, or one with the It's Incredible, on the grill so I can taste what both of them taste like uh, grilled. And then the other two on are in the cast iron skillet to taste what those taste like with those seasonings on the skillet. So... That's probably what I'm gonna do. Anyway, let's get these seasoned up. All right, so I'm gonna take some kosher salt here and just season right over the top of these two. Give them a nice coating. Then I'm gonna take some fresh cracked black pepper right over the top. Give that a pat. Flip them over and do the same thing to the other side. Get them seasoned up with some kosher salt. God, these are gonna taste so good, you guys. <laughs> I'm super excited to try these. That is it. I am going to just kind of clean up the sides here with this excess rub because why not, right? Man, that already <laughs> smells good. It's just a fresh cracked black pepper. I can, man, I. It's gonna taste good. <laughs> 
So that's that. That's those two steaks. We're going to season these two up with heaven made products. It's incredible. That's my absolute favorite seasoning for steaks. All right, real quick. Sorry about that, you guys. I had a call come in. Damn Greg. <laughs> my buddy Greg. Velasquez Barbecue called while I was filming. So, he probably wanted to tell me 96, 98. <laughs> That's an inside joke. That's actually, we went golfing uh, a couple weeks ago, and he beat me by two strokes. So, he keeps trying to rub it in. So, anyway, we get these flipped over. Hit this side with the uh, Heaven Made products. It's incredible. And then... I'm just gonna hit a little bit on the side. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is freaking amazing on steaks. I absolutely love it. So, that's it there. We're gonna let these rest for a little bit and then we'll get them on the grill. All right, you guys, I got the Weber fired up. I've got some Kingsford in there. I did drop a chunk of mesquite wood in there for a little bit of smoke. These grill grates should be pretty hot now. So, I'm gonna take these steaks. One of them, again, is seasoned with, uh, it's incredible. And the other one is seasoned with just the salt, the, the kosher salt and, and fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to cook them a total of eight minutes. Uh, I'm going to cook it, I'm going to lay it down two minutes on one side. And then I'll rotate it another two minutes. Flip them over, same thing the other side. So a total of four minutes on each side, two minutes one way, two minutes the other. So got these on, I'm going to set a timer two minutes and we'll rotate them. All right, you guys, these steaks have been going for two minutes. I'll flip them over. And let them go for another two minutes. On this side and then again, we'll flip them back over, rotate them. I'm gonna do this until they're done and I'll pick back up once we head inside. That's where you give these a flip back over the other side. Number 45 degree angle. You can tell the ones with the, uh, it's incredible, and the one with the salt and pepper, the, the uh, grill grate marks aren't as noticeable on this one. I mean, I can see them here, but on camera, I don't know if it's picking it up, but those are definitely darker. So again, two minutes, and then uh, rotate them, they'll be done. These steaks are done, that's one there. That's the other one here. I noticed the one with the It's Incredible actually left more uh, grill marks than the one that I just did with the salt and pepper. I don't know, maybe that's because the grill mark or the uh, grill grates weren't hot enough or whatever. I mean, I can see some, some lines in here, but it's it's not as pronounced as this. But that, that doesn't matter. That, that doesn't affect the taste at all. They're done. We're going to let them rest and cut into them and give them a taste. All right, you guys, I got both steaks here. They've been resting for about 15 minutes. This one is the one with the It's Incredible. This one is the one which is salt and pepper. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna cut right down the middle on each one of these real quick and see what they look like. We'll do that there. And, oh, well, stay, we'll do that. All right, so this is what the steaks look like. I cook them to about 130 degrees. So I like them a medium to medium rare. Um, that's how I like my steaks. So that's why I took them too. And as you can see, for me, this is perfect. So I'm gonna cut a piece of each one and we're gonna give it a taste. All right, you guys, we're gonna try the piece that was seasoned with the, uh, this one is the, it's incredible. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. <laughs> that's so good flavor wise excellent tenderness spot on good gosh that's good all right we're going to try the piece and this light doesn't do it justice but i mean you guys saw the footage before this where i mean it's just perfect perfectly cooked a uh, medium rare uh this is the one with the salt and pepper let's give this one a taste Mm. You know what? 
I see a lot of people season steak with just salt and pepper. I've always felt like it needed more than that. After tasting that piece, I see why they just use salt and pepper. Salt and pepper just by itself works great on steak. That was good. That was really, really good. So far, <clears throat> with those two, I really like them on the grill. I can't wait to try the ones on the cast iron skillet with a little bit of garlic and butter and thyme. It's going to be good. These these two I had, they were excellent. Again, the tenderness is just, it's just spot on. These steaks are just so tender. That fat in there, that marbling in there, it's good. Now that those are done, let's get on to the two that we're going to cook in the cast iron skillet. All right, you guys, so I got my skillet going. It's uh, starting to smoke, which is what we want. I'm going to add some oil to this real quick. drop our steaks in here this is the one with the salt and pepper and this is the one with the, it's incredible so I'm gonna let this go for just a bit about every minute I'm gonna flip them over until they're done Again, I'm going to shoot for about 130. I'll check the internal temperature with my thermo pan. But I am going to add a few more ingredients. All right, these steaks have been going for about a minute. I'm going to flip them over. Oh, yeah. I'm getting some nice crust on that. Look at that. To this, I'm going to add... I've got three cloves of garlic. I didn't peel them. I just smashed them up. I'm going to add that to the mix. And I'm going to take some fresh thyme. Add that to the mix. Lastly, I'm going to take some butter. I'm going to add that to the mix. We'll get this mixed up. Oh man, can you smell that? That smells good. That garlic roast in, that butter, that thyme. And take some of this garlic once it's been roasting for a bit. Rub it on top of the steaks. Yeah, buddy. Mm. Again, I'm just going to go every minute, flip it back over until they reach a hundred and about 130, 135 degrees. I'm shooting for medium rare on these bad boys. Take some of this time. Rub it on these steaks. Yum. So I'll pick back up once they're done. All right, you guys, these steaks are done. This one on the on this side is the one with the It's Incredible. This one on this side is the one which is a salt and pepper. Again, I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. And I cooked these to about 130 degrees. That's what I was aiming for. So we'll see what they look like. Cut them right down the middle. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, buddy. All right, so this is what they look like. Cut in half, as you can see. A medium rare which is exactly what I was aiming for that is beautiful so this one over here again same thing medium rare look at that I'm gonna take a slice of each one and we're gonna give it a taste I got a piece cut up here this is the one with just the salt and pepper this is the one with the it's incredible the missus is going to join me this time 
on this taste test. So Hello. just take, uh, we'll do with the, the, it's incredible for you. Just take either piece. Let's give it a taste. All right, so this is it's incredible. Let's give it a shot. I like the crust on that. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. Yeah. It's great. Mm. All right. I really like the the crust on that one. <clears throat> the the crust that the cast iron skillet gave it. Mm -hmm. I like. Good. You like it. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna try the um, one that was just salt and pepper menace, and it's just medium, medium rare. Look how tender it is. It's just kosher salt, of course, our fresh cracked black pepper. It's so good. It's hard to choose. They're both really good. Well, we're not trying to choose which one is better. I just wanted to taste both of them. That was really good. Again, just like the one that was grilled, just using the kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper for your seasoning. A lot of times, that's all you need. I don't ever go with just that, just because I feel like I, you know, it needs more. But after trying these two with uh, just the kosher salt and the fresh cracked black pepper, listen, I'm gonna tell you, if that's all you have, that's all you need. Cause it's good. Cause you want to taste the flavor of the steak. You want to take the steak. Exactly. exactly. You heard the missus. You so do a steak this good. Mm. You don't want to cover it up with too much. Exactly. So we're just using the. Uh, salt and pepper it's, it really allowed you to really taste the flavor of that steak and that marbling in that steak I'm telling you guys it's it's good now Omaha uh, Steaks uh, this is not a paid advertisement. They, they didn't pay me to, to, to do this um, I'm, I'm not getting a kickback or anything. They just offered them up and asked if I'd be interested in trying in fact They didn't even ask me to do a video, but I felt that you know, that's the least I could do so again, I will leave a link to their website below, and this is a steak you can only get from get from them. They have a, a patent on it. It's uh, only they can make this steak. So if you want to try it, this is the only place you can get it. It's good. You don't have to worry about trimming any fat or anything on it. It comes already trimmed, and it is excellent. Uh, Omaha Steaks, I just want to say thank you for sending these out. I truly... Thank you. The missus thanks you. <laughs> we, we truly, truly appreciate it. They're really good steaks. Um, I'm digging it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.